TV. I'm your news host Parvati Nirvan and let's begin the day of crypto world with English news bulletin. Ticker Plant, a leading global content provider in the financial information service industry and the holding company of knowledge portal Cryptowire has collaborated with Google Cloud. The partnership with Google is aimed to develop the Cryptowire ecosystem that will cater to all stakeholders of cryptocurrency and blockchain industry on a common platform. Let's begin the headlines. Cryptocurrencies crash as global investors cut risk assets. Twitter new job posting reveals DAO's membership token plan. FTX set to launch Visa debit card for users to spend crypto balances. Carbon neutral Bitcoin mining giant Core Scientist debuts on Nasdaq. Jefferies raises NFT market size estimate to $35 billion this year. El Salvador announces purchase of 410 more Bitcoins amid market drop. US SEC rejects SkyBridge Capital's Bitcoin ETF plan. First physical store to open in Portugal to buy and sell Bitcoin. Crypto-linked stock sinks amid Bitcoin's drop market route. The crypto market was in a sea of red in Asian trade Saturday as Bitcoin, the world's largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, slipped more than 10% over the past 24 hours. The drop in the cryptocurrency market following a similar drop in the global stocks only indicates that investors may be unwinding risk assets in anticipation of frequent Federal Reserve rate hikes. Investors liquidated as much as $1.25 billion worth of positions in the last 24 hours. While 48% of bullish or long positions were liquidated, nearly 52% of short positions too were liquidated. This may indicate the route in the cryptocurrency market may be nearing an end. Bitcoin is down roughly by 40% from its all-time high of $69,000, while the S&P 500 is down about 7% from its peak, compared with a 10% route in the Nasdaq 100 index. Ether, the world's second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, was down about 13% over the past 24 hours. Bitcoin traded at $36,375 recently, while Ether was at $2,597. Twitter is recruiting an additional leader for its cryptocurrency division, according to a recent job posting. The job posting reveals some of the Twitter's potential future cryptocurrency plans. The posting shows that the company plans to explore membership tokens, which effectively means that the Twitter could issue its own custom blockchain token in the future. The posting also says that the firm will explore decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs that could presumably grant coin holders some input on Twitter's development decisions. The new hire is expected to serve in the role of senior product manager crypto to explore blockchain, cryptocurrency and Web3. The hire will work alongside Tess Nearson, earlier hired by Twitter to head the cryptocurrency division. FTX, the Sam Bankman-Fried-led crypto exchange informed its customers on its plan to launch a debit card in association with Visa and urged them to join a waitlist. FTX claims that apart from third-party fees, its Visa debit card will have no fees. Customers can automatically exchange their crypto balances at any point of sale across millions of merchants worldwide where Visa is accepted. However, this service won't be available in the United States. FTX joins a growing number of other companies launching similar products on the market, including those from Coinbase, Ledger and others. Coinbase Cards is only available to users in the United States. Core Scientific, one of the biggest Bitcoin mining and blockchain infrastructure company in North America, debuted on Jan 20th on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. The debut on Nasdaq followed its merger with power and digital infrastructure acquisition through a special purpose acquisition company arrangement. Carbon neutral Bitcoin mining firm generates over 50% of its power from non-carbon emitting sources from local providers. In 2021, the firm reported that it 
operated a personal mining fleet of approximately 67,000 state of the art assets reaching a hash rate of up to 6.6x hashes per second core scientific also earns half of its revenue from providing bitcoin mining services and mining infrastructure setup services for other institutional miners core scientific holds over 5300 bitcoin on its balance sheet the growing popularity of non fungible token is causing investment banks to raise their estimate of new asset class which signifies the growing convergence of the digital and physical worlds Jefferies raised its NFT market cap forecast to more than 35 billion dollar for 2022 from an earlier estimate of 25 billion dollars while forecasting that the market could expand to 18 billion dollar by 2025 Jefferies views digital assets as an emerging technology and recommends that clients build a basket of investment exposure across video game toy and game and social media companies Jeffrey says while the Ethereum blockchain is still the most popular choice for mining NFTs and building so called metaverse the network's high gas or transaction fees have pushed brands to consider alternative networks El Salvador bought 410 bitcoin for 15 million dollars on Friday the country's president Nayib Bukele said on Twitter arguing that the asset was cheaper to accumulate now Bitcoin fell about 12% in late Friday trades to the $36,500 tracking a broader sell off in the cryptocurrency market. With the latest purchase, the Central American nation now holds over 1500 BTC. El Salvador plans to issue a $1 billion 10 year Bitcoin bond this year. Bukele has been consistent dip buyer over the past couple of months. reposing his faith in the cryptocurrency's long-term prospects. Bitcoin officially became legal tender in El Salvador last September, 3 months after the country's legislature passed the Bitcoin law. The US Securities and Exchange Commission earlier this week rejected a proposal for a Bitcoin exchange traded fund from Anthony Scaramucci's hedge fund Skybridge Capital and investment advisory firm First Trust. The SEC has stated that the Skybridge proposal falls short of standards to prevent fraud and manipulation. The rejection doesn't come as a surprise because the SEC is still unsure about the spot Bitcoin ETF. Previously, the SEC had rejected Bitcoin ETF proposals from Cryptoin, Wisdom Tree, and Vanek as well. However, the commission has shown a preference for ETFs that rather track the Bitcoin future market over spot Bitcoin ETFs as two such funds, ProShare Bitcoin Strategy ETF BITO and Valkyrie Bitcoin Strategy ETF BTF are approved by SEC and trading since October. Fidelity investment proposal for a spot Bitcoin ETF is also due today. But given SEC's track record, the rejection is on the card for Fidelity. CryptoWire, a crypto super app which also includes the channel Crypto TV, has announced the launch of India's first index of cryptocurrencies, IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track the performance of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrencies listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. That's all for today's news. For daily news and updates, keep watching Crypto TV. I am your news host Parvati Nirvan signing off for now.